Hello and welcome, in this video I will be showing you how you can re-engineer any record using artificial intelligence. Naturally, you would need access to multi-tracks to re-record parts of a song or tweak it a little to your taste. Most of the times, however, you wouldn't have multi-tracks in public access and this becomes a problem. Using Demux, you can achieve some impressive results working just with master tracks of the songs that you'd like to re-engineer. Demux is a script that's run on Google Cloud Platform that allows you to separate traditional rock music master tracks into four different outputs, which are vocals, drums, other, and bass. Without getting into details of how the script works, let me just tell you that vocal output is literally all the vocal parts recognized by artificial intelligence. Drums output implies the percussion parts in the song. Bass cuts out bass guitar, and other separates guitars, synths, and other miscellaneous. Now I'm going to demonstrate what Demux and a little of sound engineering can get you. This is a song called The Year Full Shake by Thrice. This is a live version of the song from the Anthology live album. I found that it works better with kind of liveish records without tons of production and parallel compression. The more instruments are hidden in the mix, the worse results you're gonna get. This is a live record, so I did not want the guitars to sound dry, as if they were recorded in a small room. So I added additional buses with reverb slash ambience, reversed the face and bent them left for the right guitar and right for the left guitar. Because if you don't do that, you will just get a mono track with a different tonal balance and not a real stereo image that sounds legit. Keep in mind though that some of the original room for vocals and drums got cut out in the process so the mix will inevitably sound less full. Moreover, you cannot recreate mic blitz just with passing ambience. In the conditions of a live shows, literally all the mics pick up bleed from all the instruments so um, at the end of the day uh, will shape the final tonal balance differently. Maybe one could recreate that part using ambience parts for all the tracks but this is something I did not try. And now let's listen to what I got. I will be clicking between the original audio and what I got. So I knew that Tepi guitars in the right channel was using a Vox AC30, most likely with a single coil guitar. So I used my Universal Audio Ruby to recreate the tonal balance to get a similar tone. For Dustin's part, in the right channel I used a Fender Amp and Helix VST plugin. I'm pretty sure he was using some Fender Amp at the time anyways, so uh, he uses the same amp in Helix right now as he mentioned in one of Trice's podcasts. I think it sounds awesome, so I gave it a shot. A 
As you can see, I separated the tracks with demos, and what I did, I re-recorded and re-engineered guitars for that song. Let's listen to them. <laughs> I think it turned out to be nice. I mean, I was using really thin strings for that tuning, so that's why you can hear some out of tune stuff. I probably would have recorded guitars better if I really wanted to polish it, but I just wanted to use that as an example for the video. Anyways, link to demox is in the description, but if for some reason YouTube doesn't let me post a link in the description, which has happened to me before, uh, you just type in demox in Google and you'll find it. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. See you soon. We dream where to break these I'm by